any XXX. Yeah, or something. yeah. Back if it doesn't have like at least three X's in a symmetrical sort of way, it's not really an Xbox Live tag. True. Alright, so, oh, it looks like we're gonna have a Fox Ditto here, which those are some very explosive sets usually. Uh, Fox being able to turn the tables on himself very quickly with just like a random shine or some kind of a clip or something. Uh, even something as crazy as, like, I've seen it in some of the Left and Armada sets, one of them will get some really wonky SDI and just, like, turn the tables and take the stock. It's a really crazy matchup. It is. So, usually fun to watch. Yeah, it's... I'm not the best in Melee, but it's... Following Fox Sales is basically just, like, you might as well try and take Calculus with how hard it is sometimes. Yeah. It's so fun. Well, that's a very there. good dash attack from s Chen, calling out Professor Peen's uh, DI up. Um, and ooh, but uh, unfortunately misjudging that distance. This is NTSC, not PAL, but he gets that read. And very quick stock from s -Chen. That's a good lead. Uh, this is actually uh, Professor Peen, uh, he was my co-commentator, and he's also, uh, I drove here with him. He's kind of my boyfriend back home, so uh, I, I know a lot about so his play style, what he likes to do, what he what he tends to play like. Um, and when it comes to fast follow matchups, he really likes to, to play sort of a mango style of like being aggressive and really forcing them to commit to options they might not like to do. Uh, but it looks like he's just kind of being outclassed by s -Chen right here, unfortunately. Uh, very, very solid play from s -Chen, really just looking dominant and getting these crazy punishes. Uh, yeah. but hopefully, Peen's going to start something here. Just to clarify, I think um, s -Chen is actually player one. Oh, yeah, so. s -Chen is player one. So yeah, Oh, Peen's really? One yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, he's, he's okay. Red box. Nice, nice. Oh, that was a great shine spike there. And he's up a stock, so yeah. he's going to keep foot lead. Alright, and uh, I think that shine was uh, a bit of a... I don't know, usually when you want to shine a recovery, it's more for style than anything. It's very, very difficult to shine Fox's side B back off stage. Yeah, uh, really, it was a little high for that, too. Yeah, if you're doing... If you, you know there's... Coming back on stage with side B, you usually want to try and make sure that you're ready with like a grab or. Well, I think the, the best thing is is really an aerial. Uh, yeah. Doing like a nair or a back air to just kind of knock them back off stage. It doesn't have to kill them, but even with good DI, they're going to be in a really awkward spot. Um, an unfortunate there. SD there, but uh, he's still right back in it. Um, being able to keep your mentality uh, sort of alive and well after an SD like that is really important in any matchup, but especially something as crazy as a Fox Ditto. Because coming off the angel platform still maybe like tilted by something like that is a really easy way to, to let your opponent even it up again. To get a quick stock off of a grab or two. Uh, Mr. Bean solidly yeah. taking the first one. Yeah, uh, assuming he is Green Fox. No, just keeping good mentality in a match is really hard, and especially if like you're getting tilted and getting tilted, that can completely change a matchup. Even if it's like you're a hundred times better and you're playing like Fox against the Kirby, if you're tilting and you're not playing well, the Kirby can be exactly. exactly. So kills will be a little harder. Yep, and I guess that actually shining him out of a descending back air. Uh, it's not the descending back air is the greatest option ever, but shine isn't exactly a move with a ton of upward priority. So interesting interaction there. Um, Trying to get those tech chases. I don't mind the occasional dash tech tech chase, but I think that your goal really should be getting a grab if possible. It seemed like s was really trying to get those dash tags uh, and just kind of like stacking them up, and he was able to get out of them pretty easily. I was gonna say, if you got a tech chase, like dash tagging is best. And gets back. That was odd laying and get back on the ledge. Probably thought he was gonna die there, to be completely honest. And both of these players missing a lot of edge guards, maybe a little bit of screen nerves. Um, yeah. But we got that DBZ moment. Hopefully. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So S Chen actually taking the first stock here, despite getting sort of solidly two stock last game, telling us that he's still in this. You know, not to count him out just yet. Oh, side note, I love it when they chant "Go Fox" or like whatever the chant in a ditto. Yeah. It's just because it's like, okay, which one? Are yeah. I <laughs> Who is it? For? This doesn't help me at all. Ah, oh, good meet to King Angle from S Chen going right to the ledge there. Uh, it's just solid recovery option. A lot of people really underrate Fox's recovery, but the amount of options that he has to get back are so crazy sometimes. If I'm right, I, his up air goes more than Falco's, right? Um, or is it Falco's that goes more than Fox's? Uh, actually, hold on a second. I will be right back. No, you're I good. think I left my phone somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to go you're find good. that really quick. You're good. Alright, so you get solo crap commentary from me, you guys. I have no idea who underrates Fox's recovery. Chat's yelling at you. Chat. I found it. It's cool. Nobody panic. 
Uh, I already panicked. I had to do solo commentary. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you alone. <laughs> but it looks like not a ton happened. We're still at three stocks to three stocks. Um, I just tried getting that good, or uh, Professor Peen, sorry, getting that good back air. Um, I, I'm getting a little confused because Peen is usually blue and playing Red Fox. Um, but that's how dittos go. Sometimes somebody just gets your skin before you do. Alright, Fox has a uh, farther Firefox. That's what I thought. Yes, definitely. That um, the, the main differences in their recoveries are that uh, Foxes, both of them go further. Falco's actually, his up B hits harder, like it can kill off the top, and Falco's side B can spike. Yeah, um, and also, Falco's side B is noticeably faster on startup, which makes it harder to get low percent KOs on Falco. Personally, I, I think I, like between the two, I'd take Falco's just because I'd rather have the slightly lower recovery than and be able to use those moves as kill offs, especially for Falco's side B is such a great move in the yeah, range of yeah. situations. That's actually um, really for good, good edge cancel from Professor P. Um, this edge guarding has just not been on point for either one. That's an opinion that I've been seeing expressed more and more these days is that like Falco's recovery is almost as good as or maybe even as good as Fox's because he has such an easier time getting back on stage at lower percents with the side B. Uh, but still a fairly controversial thing to say. Yeah, well I know that um get the dude that does all the passing for like what if Fox had Mars up B or whatever. Yeah, uh, Magic Scrumpy you think? Scrumpy, yeah. He yeah. Make, he made the like perfect spacey and if I remember, I'm pretty sure he used Fox's up B, but Falco's side B when he was trying to make it because his logic was the up B is more of a recovery option. You don't ever really use it for killing, but the side B is a much more of an actual legitimate move, and you would rather have the side B be able to spike with Falco. That makes sense. Uh, good shine back air from Professor P. going to seal that stock out. And this is a very, very even set, uh, looking a lot less lopsided than game one did. Uh, Professor P. missing the back dash there, um, and... Probable accidental forward throw from uh, Meshchan there. It's definitely, these players are flubbing a little bit, but still a, a solid enough set. Um, yeah, good back air, and that should seal it up. Good stuff to Peen. It's a solid 2 0. Uh, right. Did P want to get back on commentary? Or? Um, I mean, you're welcome to stay. Uh, nah, uh, not going to kick you off. No, nah, you're good. Alright, and it looks like Wenbo is coming back on stream. We actually just saw.